Hey everyone, we're doing a giveaway. Do you want to win some free automotive swag? Well, check out our Instagram, at Autoline Network, to enter. On today's show, if not for Tesla, sales of EVs would be dropping like a rock. Consumers are doing a better job of making their car payments on time, and I'll share my impressions of the new Hyundai Santa Fe. All that and more coming right up on Autoline Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the voice of the global automotive industry. Well, here's an eye-opening statistic. Tesla accounted for 70% of all the electric cars sold in the U.S. market last month. In fact, if it were not for Tesla, electric cars would have been down a whopping 30%. Sales of the Chevrolet Bolt, BMW i3, Fiat 500e, and just about every other EV were down. Only the Nissan Leaf and Hyundai Ioniq were up, but not by much. And this is bad news for the industry. Automakers will introduce more than 120 EVs in the U.S. market in the next three years. But it seems like car buyers are not that interested in the electrics on the market today unless they have a Tesla badge on them. Garrett is one of the best-known names in turbochargers. It's been around since 1936 and has been manufacturing turbos for 80 years. You may not be all that familiar with the name because Garrett has been bought and sold by a number of big conglomerates. The latest of those is Honeywell, which is spinning off Garrett today as an independent, publicly traded company. It's called Garrett Motion, and while it's a brand new company, it's been around for the better part of a century. Car prices continue to grow which is causing loans and monthly payments to reach new highs. But a new study from Experian found that despite those increases, consumers are still making payments on time. During the second quarter of 2018, 30-day delinquencies dropped to 2.11% from 2.2% a year ago, and 60-day delinquencies also dipped as well. In addition to that, the number of subprime loans continues to fall. Subprime and deep subprime buyers are less than 20% of the loan market. A year or so ago, there was concern from some financial analysts over buyers defaulting on their loans, but automakers and lenders have tightened up their credit standards, which has put those fears to rest. Still to come, a look at the updates to the Acura ILX. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems, and by ExxonMobil. Earlier this year, the Society of Automotive Engineers did a demonstration with the public to let them experience riding in an autonomous car. On last week's AutoLine After Hours, we were joined by David Shutt, the president of the SAE, and he talked about why it held the event and some of the reactions they got from participants. And uh, what we're finding is that the, the, the activities that are going on, the, the news coverage, creating some anxiety within the public. And so what is the right way to go through this? So we want to ask the public themselves. That's a new domain space for SA International. But what we put together was an interesting combination of uh, test vehicles. So we had to have our technology providers in there. And we need to find an environment where we could do this policymakers who are open to it, uh, municipalities who could allow this, and we put that together, and then you also had a curious and even adventurous public to get in. And as you said, we interviewed before and after, and uh, what we found was, you know, obviously it's going to be adopters who want to try it, uh, but even after that, they were even more positive about the experience. Uh, and we're from a, a 92-year-old man. He comes in and he says, you know, this is America. This is what we're supposed to do. And he was so excited to be a part of this next revolution. We had a woman who was eight months pregnant getting in. And she says, ah, it was a little jittery, a little jumpy, because it was over over analyzed to avoid obstacles. But she came back after she says, this would be such an amazing thing for me. And hey, don't forget to join us for AutoLine After Hours this afternoon. Our special guest is Christoph Marnot from the supplier ZF, who will be talking all about the safety features it's developing for autonomous vehicles. 
So join us live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for some of the best discussions in the auto industry. The Acura ILX is going to look a whole lot different for the 2019 model year. The body panels from the A-pillar forward are all new, and it features updated dual-eye LED headlights, as well as Acura's signature diamond pentagon grille, which was first shown on the Precision concept. The rear also sees an all-new deck lid, fascia, LED taillights, and lower diffuser with exposed exhaust outlets. Like the TLX, RDX, and MDX, the ILX will get an A-spec model with unique touches both inside and out. Speaking of the interior, not much has changed, but the screens are upgraded for better response time and now have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility. Acura's suite of driver assist technologies, called Acura Watch, will now be standard as well. The 2019 ILX starts hitting dealerships in October. Coming up next, I'll share my impressions of the new Hyundai Santa Fe. Lighter, safer, stronger, quieter, and more sustainable. Tell us where you need to go, and we'll help you get there. Dow Automotive Systems. We don't succeed unless you do. Hyundai's new 2019 Santa Fe is in dealerships now, and one of the first things you're going to notice is the new styling. It has a more muscular look, highlighted by its near vertical cascading grille. Hyundai's design team said it wanted to make the Santa Fe look less like a minivan and more like an SUV. And as we move to the interior, you might pick up on a strong horizontal design theme. The center air vents have been moved below the infotainment system and now separate it from the HVAC controls. The driver also gets a large cluster display and there's a couple of nice material touches, best exemplified by the topographical looking speaker covers and the heather pattern material on the pillars and headliner. And Hyundai is looking to set itself apart from the competition by offering almost all of its advanced safety features as standard. The only one that's not is a rear occupant alert. Power for the Santa Fe comes from two engine options, the standard 2.4 liter four cylinder or a two liter turbo four with 235 horsepower. Both engines are mated to a new, lighter eight speed automatic transmission. Also new for 2019 is the H-Track all wheel drive system. Not only is it linked to the drive modes and will change characteristics as you cycle through from normal to sport, but it gets 50 vehicle input signals to best calculate torque split between all the wheels. The system is actually more predictive rather than reactive, and it's one of the things that makes this the best handling Santa Fe ever. The others are the body structure and the suspension system. I highlighted a bit of the structure last week, but the suspension has been improved greatly as well. The suspension bushings have been updated to improve agility and vibration and shock absorption. At the front, suspension geometry has been tweaked, the shock absorbers and purchase for the springs on the strut are enhanced, and the steering knuckles switch from steel to aluminum to save weight. Moving to the rear, understeer has been improved by lengthening the assist arm, the carrier mount moved to aluminum for weight, the suspension structure was beefed up, and the rear shock now sits more upright, putting it in line with the forces being exerted on the suspension. You know, there's usually one to two vehicles a year that really surprise at just how good they are. And the 2019 Santa Fe is one of those vehicles for me. And as passenger car sales continue to crater, as we reported yesterday, you're going to see automakers putting more effort into the CUV and SUV segments. They're already competitive segments, and as the bar keeps getting raised, it's only going to be harder for an automaker to stand out. So now let's talk about price. The base SE starts at $25.5, the top of the line Ultimate starts at $35,450, all wheel drive adds another $1,700, and all in, you'll be close to $40,000. The 2019 Santa Fe is on sale now. But that wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.